Hi, bar is open. So today I'm going to review this Duas 12 years mm -hmm. blended whiskey. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today I'll be reviewing this Duas 12 years old blended whiskey. Now, I, I reviewed the uh, white label previously, and I think I pronounced it as the was. Uh, it has been made known to me, it's pronounced as Duars. So, uh, do correct me if I'm still getting that wrong. Now, this is a really shiny box. If I turn it to the lights, you can see the reflections from it. So it's a, it's a very glossy, reflective box to make it look, you know, a bit more high-end. Um, but, you know, it is pretty flimsy. So just be careful when you're transporting it uh, as a gift. Uh, it's got a lot, a lot of words behind it. So as usual, I'll be taking a picture of this later on so that you can read it while I'm tasting the whiskey. One thing that I'm seeing on all sides of the box, especially right at the top here, is double-edged for extra smoothness. So apparently what they do is they age it once, they blend it, and then they age it again. In this case, up to 12 years. So hopefully, it helps with the flavour. That being said, I still remember the Duas white label, and I loved it. In fact, up to today, if anyone uh, asks me for a, a decent uh, whiskey at budget entry pricing. I, I mentioned the Duas. I mean, next to the Shivas, it's probably one of the best budget whiskies you can get. But without further ado, let's get right down to it. So this is again pretty flimsy box. Once I take the bottle off, it's so I'm just gonna put it aside to make sure it doesn't uh, fly away. The bottle itself is an upgrade from the white label. Uh, it just I remember the white label being a bit flatter. This is more rounded. It just feels like an upgrade immediately. But surprisingly, where the Duas white label was retailing at around 52 Singapore dollars per bottle, this is retailing at only 62 dollars per bottle. So only 10 dollars more, but it, it looks noticeably different. The part that's similar is the 700 ml size with 40% alcohol content. And as for all whiskey reviews, I will be tasting it neat. Thereafter, I'll be adding a little, a few drops of water just to see if the whiskey opens up. And finally, on the rocks. So let's start with. So let me open this. This is a brand new bottle, so you know there, there might be some comments for the neck pour and all that. Honestly, it's not much of a difference. Go and ah, oh, it comes with its own built in pourer, so I don't have to use the external one. I also didn't bring anything to measure my consumption today, so I'll just pour it really carefully. As a professional should. And immediately, sense wise, it smells like a very typical whiskey, a typical budget whiskey with that nail polish remover smell uh, and that's from this distance. Let me go nearer. Oh yeah. That just hit me in the sinuses oh, and uh, oh god yeah. So yeah, um, the smell isn't pleasant. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Now, before I, before I taste test, I actually do like to swirl the whiskey a little bit just to see how long it takes to settle back down. Uh, it started immediately, but it's taking about seven to eight seconds to reach the bottom. So this actually promises like a slight seven to eight second finish at the back of your throat as well. So the taste might linger there. Could be the burn. Let's find out. So for all taste tests, um, you know, I recommend you exhale, take a small sip, swallow it, and then with your mouth still closed, inhale and exhale through your nose. So this allows the full flavor of the whiskey to travel without the and, and reduces the burn as well. Review one. It's a very smooth whiskey. 
but it's a very sweet whiskey as well. There was a light hint of oakiness at the start, but it dissipated immediately. I want to say there's some tangy taste to it as well, like a bit of a citrus. You know, uh, it has a little bit of hint of it, a light hint of it. But I'll tell you this, it definitely feels a lot more layered compared to the white label. However, the finish, while there is some burn here, the final taste on my tongue is a certain blandness. There's, there's just a light blandness covering my tongue. The sweetness is on my gums and my teeth, so that's how sweet this, this whiskey is. But yeah, there's a light blandness settling on my tongue, so it's like an empty taste. Whereas the burn is, is here, just disappear. It's drinkable, neat, but it leaves you wanting a little bit more, because there's just something missing. Well, let's test now with some water, and we're gonna add in a little bit of water just to open up the whiskey. I left quite a bit in the glass, so let me just add a bit more. Just mix it up a little bit. Now what water does is supposed to fill in the gaps. It's supposed to open up the whiskey a little bit more. Adding water, the scent became pleasant. It removed that, that nail polish remover smell by like 90%. There's still 10% left. But there's a dryness in it as well. I can I can smell, you know, you can you can feel that dryness coming in. Let's see if it relates to the taste. So it says two. It's quite pleasant with water. It removed the excessive sweetness. The oakiness lasted a lot longer, all the way back to my throat now. And the tangy taste is a little bit more pronounced. A little bit, I'm not saying it's wow, exponential, no, just a little bit more, but it's there. So there's a slight floral tangy taste now, a bit of dryness around there as well. And the sweetness is, is reduced, so it's more comfortable on my gums. I actually prefer this with some water, so highly recommend it. And the third review is going to be on the rocks, so let's Look how fast the ice is melting, that's how warm it is today. I'm actually perspiring a lot under these t-shirts. Um, if I, you know, show you my body right now, I'm gonna glow. So that's how warm it is. Oh, sweet relief from the water. Ice cold water. And just pouring a little bit into this Last now, it doesn't matter what type of ice you use. Uh, personally, I'm using this uh, bigger ice cube. If you want to use an ice ball, if you want to use uh, crushed ice cubes, it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong. It's just how you want to chill your drink. Uh, let's just chill it a little bit longer. The bottle is nicely designed. Well, I don't think it's chilled. The bottle is nicely designed. I think they won three things. One in London, one in Paris, and one in Edinburgh. So, it makes sense to display it on the bottle. And with this sufficiently chilled, they says three. Well, I'm enjoying because it's cold. Having it on the rocks removed all flavors and textures completely. Uh, yeah, it just killed off the taste of the whiskey. There's a dryness left behind, the oaky dryness left behind, maybe because they aged it twice. But there's no flavor when you drink it on the rocks. So for this Duas 12 years blended whiskey, I do recommend having it with some water. But having it on the rocks really just kill off the taste. So best way to drink. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions that have to be used as an industry standard. I do have a, want to find out what you think about this Duas blended scotch whiskey 12 years. You know, have you tried it? How do you like it compared to the Duas white label? Drop me some comments. Let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do let me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send a link to the video as well. And as always, my friends, 
Happy drinking on a warm day. Whiskey on a warm day. Mm-hmm.